we're going to go through each of these five common cognitive biases, and I'm going to do my best to apply them through the lens of HR within the workplace. So like me bias, this is our innate default behavior of gravitating towards people who are similar to us. Like me bias is sometimes called similarity bias. It's sometimes called affinity bias, but it's this tendency that we have to gravitate towards people who are like us. Now, on a, any given Sunday morning in America, you can see this bias in action, right? As people self-select and self-segregate themselves, Sunday morning is the most segregated time in America. This is just one anecdotal data point around the impact of like me bias. Now, this is it's a byproduct of our brain's threat mechanism. There's a survival heuristic that's constantly assessing every environment we find ourselves in for threats. And this is part of that 11 million bit area of unconscious mental processing. We don't really know it's happening, but it is, right? Other evidence of this happening without your conscious awareness, if something were to come into your view, if somebody were to toss a ball, you're going to react to it, even if you don't necessarily see it, and it's not necessarily a conscious process. These underlying processes are just active in the world. Now, they're not in and of themselves bad, but when they start to unduly influence hiring decisions... When they start to play out into processes, I, I worked with some organizations that, you know, the founder went to Stanford. So that's where the HR team has been tasked to go draw talent from. Then they scratch their heads wondering, why don't we have any more qualified candidates? It's like me bias needs to be disrupted at some point, else you end up with homogenous organizations, right? So, so like me bias, it's very useful as it, as it brings us comfort in certain contexts. If we're out and about, and if you've ever traveled abroad and you're in a country with, uh, that, that they don't speak your language, and then suddenly you hear your language, oh my gosh, it, it's like a lifelong friend. There's instant connection right there, right? This is a very powerful force that has a lot of good, but when it plays out over time, can produce some unintended consequences, right? With certain types of people getting the promotion, certain types of people putting into certain types of roles. So very, very important to begin disrupting this bias before it gets into our systems through our, our processes and protocols. Mm -hmm.